evening from Xfinity Center. This is the Viner Four Gates postgame show as Bruno Fernando runs off the court. Maryland over Penn State, 75-69. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner, intern Mason in the middle. Bruce, what'd you make of it tonight? I made of it that Kevin, uh, that uh, Cowan was just unbelievable. He played 40 minutes. Now that worries me a little bit. 40 minutes, he's got a game in 48 hours at Michigan State. That's worrisome, but he played unbelievable. Nice to play number one. We're going to play at number one on Thursday they night. Got a shot. They got a shot to be the man. Hey, we need more games like these. We need more games like Thursday. We need more games like Sunday. Right. Enough I of mean, the NBCs and enough of uh, the second fiddle teams. This was a great game, fun to watch, you know, and uh, with, the, with the injuries, they did a great job. They really did. And I didn't notice that they're going to play. They played Friday, they played Tuesday, they played Thursday, they played Sunday. This is a college team. That seems a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, the order of it's crazy, but they got a four-set schedule in by February 24th for the Big Ten tournament. They do. Look, this was a tough game. There's a lot of plays right here under this basket that I thought Penn State hammered the Terps. You can't yeah, call a, everything. You're a homer, man. You're a homer. A homer? homer. Well, it says look, Maryland, doesn't look, it? That does, too. Hey, this says Terp talk. I mean, listen, come on. Listen, yeah. look at the foul shots, yeah. and then tell me they got a bad, a bad edge. They didn't I mean, have a bad edge. It, it just, look, Penn State had four free throws. Maryland had 25, probably. Something like that, 24. So that, so that worked out. Uh, my player of the game, I'm going to go with two guys. Uh, of course, Cowan has to get something, a five-star effort. Nickens came and got some rebounds, made some, some shots. But what do you think of Bruno Fernando, Mason? Best game, he said. A quiet 17. Yeah, I did. I could not believe he had 17. I, uh, it was his game, and Checo played well, too. And it took everything they had to win the game and some good defense on number 10 for Penn State, who's a good player. So you look at a team like a Penn State, and it took everything we had to win it. Where are there games where they're not going to have to give everything? They're going to have to give everything to win any Big Ten game. It's none of them are going to be easy. Every game at home, you got Minnesota who's doing great. You got Michigan State. Michigan looks like the best. I think Michigan looks like the number one team. Huh. They destroyed Iowa on the road. Yeah. You know, maybe Iowa we could get by easily. I don't know. I think Iowa has started to slide these past two years. They still have that one guy, the scorer from last year. Bohannon? I think so. He lit, he lit us up, the three point they shooter. Beat they beat us here. We were only five and four at home last year. Yeah. 72 on the road. Well, you mentioned, and we're up against a break here, but you mentioned we could have been 0 and 3 or 2 and 1. It's going our way a little bit. Two and one. If we get out of the next two games with a chop, all right, I'll be very happy to take care of the home court, be 2 and 1, be 3 and 2 after five games. All right. I'll you, be very happy. You are listening to the Viner Four Gates post game show live from College Park, Maryland 75. Penn State 69, we'll be back in a moment. As we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Bruce, you had a tweet at halftime about Kevin Herter, who had a little bit of a shaky one tonight. I said right at halftime, he, only, he had zero points. I said, it's going to take 15 from him to win. Then I dropped it to 10, somewhere in there, and he got it. He wound up with 13 points, and uh, most of them went in the final 10. But, you know, you're just not going to win without him scoring. I mean, him and Cowan almost have to combine for around 30 points a game, and then hope there's a hot hand or two the rest of the way. Yeah, the hot hand is something that you're going to have to look for. I really did not like the big subbing. I thought Tomias deserved more time when they, at the end of the game, when Tchaikovsky and Fernando weren't both on the floor, especially Fernando. I thought it was a little bit iffy. Turgeon loves to run the small team. 
and uh, they paid tonight. That number 24 for Penn State really clogged up the middle until the end of the game when Fernando kind of took over. He had a great finish. Yeah, the free throws ended up taking over the game. But when I looked at it from where I was sitting and from where you were sitting, they were fouls, and fouls are fouls at the end of the game. True. Look, they won the game. That's the bottom line. It's on the Thursday where they can, you know, you win Thursday by some miracle, and all of a sudden the votes start coming in. And I would love to see that. The votes start coming in if you could beat <laughs> Michigan State. I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. You never know. It'd be, nope. be a big win for Turgeon. And, uh, hey, come back in, Wayne. Let's wrap this up with an analysis of the Big Ten's performance in the bowl games. We'll wrap it up with basketball at the end. Seven and one in the bowl games. Only Harbaugh choked. A bad week for Harbaugh. Oh, you just love saying that. Well, he did. He did. He did. Hey, look. Maryland, they were up 19-3. to three. But Maryland lost eight games. Seven of the teams that they lost to won a bowl, including UCF. And uh, Jordan pointed out they claim themselves a national championship. They, they've anointed themselves at, uh, what's it, 13-0, the national look, championship. Look, they beat Auburn, who beat two number one teams. They did. So, But you know what? Alabama looked like in another league last night. Well, we're going to have to go back and watch the uh, video on that one again. I think the numbers are on the championship game. I think you're going to see Alabama by six or seven. Four points. Ah. Four points. Four points. Right. Maryland was three and a half tonight. Ah. But, so, uh, look, uh, 401st win for Mark Turgeon. It's impressive. You got another conference win. You have a tremendous conference record. They didn't have the greatest team on the floor tonight, but it, it worked. So you got to give them credit for that one. We're going to listen. If he turns this team into a 9-9 and -nine conference team uh, and steals a couple games in the uh, conference tournament. Camera's that way. I know. I'm okay. talking to him. <laughs> okay. Steals a couple games in the conference <laughs> yeah. tournament, and we get a bid. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a minor miracle. He should be coach of the decade, not of the year. Uh, all right. Because so, this team is not deep right now. So it's uh, at Michigan State on Thursday. Iowa here is at 8 o'clock Sunday night. 8 o'clock Sunday night. Well, hopefully there won't be traffic for that one. And what's tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. What's tonight? Tomorrow night is Turp Talk that's brought right. to you by Coons Ford on Security <laughs> Boulevard. Six. Dennis will be on, and that's on 1300 CBS Sports Radio at... 6, 6 p.m. p.m. 6 p.m. as it always is. Sports Maven on Saturday. And unfortunately, due to the massive choke by the Ravens, yep. uh, we will not have it in the nest this week. Stop right. smiling, Mason. Take it home, Mason. Oh, I'm going to smile. Because last, last year, my team did that. And all I, or I didn't give year. you any grief. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that happened. I was very kind, all right? You were, you were nice. <laughs> That's two years in a row with the complete locks for the last week of the season of loss. Yeah. That's true. In the NFL, there is no complete luck. Hey, you know? bottom line tonight, though, Maryland 75, Penn State 69. Hey, Thanks for watching. Sm I'm smiling. I'm happy. Ravens thing is in the past. When's the cross start? February 10th against Navy. <laughs> All right? And I know it. All right? Anyway, good everybody, night. good night. Thanks for listening. Tomorrow night, Turp Talk.